Hi guys, um, welcome back to Deranged and just want to say a very happy new year. Um, some 2021's been a bit difficult for a lot of people, um, but I'm getting a feel for 2022 and I think it's going to be a good positive year. So just wanted to say welcome back and tell you a bit about what's going on um, currently and what we've got in store for the 2022. So you might have already seen, we've got a couple of different projects going on. We've got um, a 308 Ferrari, which we're doing with Liberty Walk, and we're gonna do its own series for that under Deranged Customs. So if you're not already following, please go and follow um, Deranged Customs on Instagram and look for the channel on here, because there's gonna be a channel on YouTube, which is gonna be dedicated to the build of that car and another project we're doing is the Mark II Golf, which I acquired probably about five, six years ago, and it sat outside, rotting away, and it already had a VR6 engine in it, and we put suspension on it, and that was it. It was gonna be a project. It never got done, and the guys in here, they all wanna do it, so we thought over Christmas, we got it in, and we stripped it down, and actually, it's not that rotten surprisingly after five years so it's Volkswagen so it's a testament to them it's literally sat outside for five years um, so yeah that's going to be exciting we've got loads going on with that we're going to go all out um, if you didn't see before Christmas we done a surprise for my business partner Alex's dad and we bought one of his old race cars from probably about 30 years ago an old Renault 5 and we totally restored it back to how it was when he raced so that was pretty cool um, talking about racing, unfortunately I sold the 488 Challenge last year at the end of the year and I was sad to see it go, but it just wasn't happening for me. Um, I was going to race in the Challenge, Ferrari Challenge, then I was going to do it. It didn't ever happen, so I thought, right, sell the car. Um, that went anyway. Since then, I started looking into other race series. For next for this year and come across the Porsche Sprint Challenge so it all happened a bit quick and the car's in the trailer so we're gonna get that out in a minute and um, show you brand new Porsche from um, from from Porsche themselves you know brand new car factory built race car I'll let you see what it is in a minute but I'm excited about racing in the championship this year so make sure you keep an eye on that as well. We'll be following that throughout the year on YouTube and Instagram. Um, follow my Instagram, which is Jason Deranged, and obviously I have loads of stuff on there. And um, that's it really, show you, I'll show you about. We'll go and see the car, and then we'll go and have a look in the workshop, see what's going on. So, let's go and see the car. The new race car. Exciting. Brand spanking. But I can't really fit in it that easy, so let Alex get it off the trailer. It's alright once I'm in, it's just getting in and out. It's a bit embarrassing. Oh, yeah. Don't want to do it on camera. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. That's all right on there. Perfect for this trailer, this one. Which is good. Even Alex can't do it gracefully. <laughs> That's fine. So you've got to do the, do the master down. Um, it's underneath. Flip that up and then push it down. That's it. And then, then do the ignition. Best sound in Pulse I've ever heard.
Definitely, we definitely can't have the front splitter on when we're getting it on and off the trailer. No, it's definitely not. Is it low, is it? It touched. I don't think it's good. So you've done, the first, you've done the first bit of damage to it. <laughs> That's obviously where you fill it up. It's got, what, one air jack at the front and two at the back, mate. Yeah, that's what they have here, like three here. Yeah. Christmas doesn't it? That's like the adapter for the uh, air jack. And these are the these are the safety for the um, for the air jacks when they're down. Why is sitting around? We won't put it on properly, we're just uh, I think so, yeah. I mean, that, that, I don't know if it's got another bit that goes underneath. Well, it's still got the paint on it. Half the paint's in there for that one. Obviously, it comes off the more you use it, doesn't it? But I'll, um, So guys, we've got the car in. I mean, look at it, it's epic. I love it. I can fit in it, which is a bonus. I did go and try it out before I bought it, so I don't normally do that, but with race cars, it's very important that I can fit in. Obviously, I'm six foot six. So I can safely say this is a good, this is a good vehicle, good, good size, good fit for me. So there's not many people as tall as me. So if anyone's looking for a car that you can fit in, this is definitely one option. Um, yeah, so this is it. Um, just got to decide now what color we're gonna wrap it, get some sponsors on there and go and race it. This is the little car we built for Alex's dad, the Renault 5, which um, we surprised him with before Christmas, which is really nice. He was over the moon, so it was good. If you haven't already seen, um, we've launched another product for 2022 and that is the Toyota Hilux. So I'm going to just show you a little bit around that, um, what we've done with it. We've got stock of these vehicles. We've got, I think we've got maybe five left now, uh, more arriving imminently. So um, yeah, we'll show you about it. Um, Blackout edition, same as what we do with the Ranger. This is our base package. So it comes with our arch extensions here, full blackout pack, 20 inch wheels and tyres um, and then from there it will be going on the configurator so we'll do all of the options that we do with the Ranger so full interior, Recaros if you want Recaros, um, all the different options for the back so tonneau cover, hard top, um, roller shutter, sports bar, uh, really everything that you, everything that we really do with the Ranger and we've done in the past with the Nissan um, we will be offering for the Hilux so um, have to be patient with us we're putting it on the configurator now it, it's not easy it doesn't um, happen overnight it's probably about a three month process and we have to have the vehicle um, with all the pictures and the scan data and everything to go together to be able to build that 3D model so it will take a little bit of time but hopefully by March new reg we'll have the configurator up and running um, you'll be able to go spec it inside and out but we have got loads of pictures of the Hilux if you are interested um, and if you want the interior done you don't have to wait to see it on the configurator we can talk about it we can show you pictures you can go on the Ranger it'll give you a good idea you can still choose all your colours your spec your wrap colours so yeah all of that can be done 
Um, like I say, they're in stock now, so if you do want one, be quick. We've got five in. Um, they're priced well as well. I mean, if you look at the market at the moment, trucks, standard trucks are selling for more than um, list price. We're selling these for list money, so, um, and there might even be a bit of a discount on this five if you're, um, if you get in there first before the new stock arrives. So, yeah, we'll go from here. We'll go, actually worth having a look at these vans because uh, that looks nice. Three vans the same, custom R kit on them. Customers bought three off of us, which is always nice. You know, if a customer wants to buy more than one vehicle, if you've got a fleet of vehicles and you're looking to upgrade or change your fleet or, you know, want to look after your employees, give them more nice van to drive, nice truck to drive. Obviously, we love that selling more vehicles um, we we'll always look you know we we'll always look after you as well if you're coming to buy more than one um, we'll do the best we can with that so we'll go from there we're going to have a look in the workshop see what's going on here having full interior which is going to look nice obviously the matte grey very popular colour and um, we're supposed to have a look at the update and see what's going on with the 308 but um, like I say make sure you go over to the other video which is going to be dedicated to this car but we've got the kit all trial fitted now so it's looking good just thinking of what, what ideas we can do with it really Obviously, I'm going full resto mod, so you know, update all the mechanics, new engine builds, suspension, new interior, new lighting. So yeah, it's going to be good. But, um, fair bit going. Another, another project car over here. So it does seem like a lot of projects going on, doesn't it? Well, I think the thing is, we obviously had two months where we didn't have any trucks and. That's been a big problem for us, big shortage of rangers. Um, fingers crossed there's going to be a few coming in. I think they have started to feed a few in. I think we've got about 120 in total for the next six months. So, and then there's be uh, hopefully no other problems. But um, yeah, like I say, we've had a bit of trouble getting trucks in. So we turned our skills to other things and spent the time built starting some other projects so hopefully we can get them finished this year this is going to be another track car um, obviously do a bit of PR with it use it for track days um, possibly corporate events as well which we're going to be doing the race car so we're going to be doing some in between racing do some corporate events with sponsors and anyone who wants to come along really um, so we have the BMW here the M3 we'll have the Porsche um, possibly the Aston Martin race car if it doesn't sell before um, so yeah, a few, lot going on really, Just um, so again, um, Happy New Year and hope you all have a healthy, happy and prosperous 2022. Thank you for watching.